action. The angel Gabriel, after informing Mary that she was herself to become a mother, conveyed the almost equally unbelievable news that her kinswoman Elizabeth had conceived in her old age and was already in her sixth month. Then Mary broke forth into singing. Her song is called the Magnificat because it begins with the words, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. Mary's song continues. All generations shall call me blessed. Holy is God's name. His mercy is on them that fear him. He has put down the mighty from their seats and has exalted them of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and he has come to help his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. See how purely she leaves all to God and claims for herself no works, honor, or reputation. She behaves just as she did before any of this was hers, seeks no greater honor, is not puffed up, vaunts not herself, calls out to no one that she is the mother of God, but goes into the house and acts just as before, milks cows, cooks, scrubs the kettles and sweeps the house like any housemaid in the most menial tasks, as if none of these overwhelming gifts and graces were hers. Among the other neighbors, she was esteemed no more highly than before and did not ask to be. She was still a poor townswoman among the lowliest. What a simple, pure heart was hers. What an amazing person she was. What mightiness was hidden below her lowliness. How many there were who met her, talked with her, ate and drank with her, and perhaps even looked down on her, who had they known would have been overpowered in her presence. You have got to feel the pinch of hunger in the midst of scarcity and experience what hunger and scarcity are. When you do not know where to turn, to yourself or to anyone else, but only to God. That the work may be God's alone and none other. You must not only think and speak of lowliness, but come into it, sink in it, utterly helpless. That God alone may save you. Or at any rate, should it not happen, you should at least desire it and not shrink. For this reason, we are Christians and have the gospel, that we may fall into distress and lowliness, and that God thereby may have his work done in us.